Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys what is a Fibonacci sequence and and how do you guys print a list of Fibonacci sequence. So a Fibonacci sequence begins with two ones and each successive spot is the sum of the previous two. What I mean by this is this is the Fibonacci sequence of first 10 numbers. So the first two numbers will be given. The third number is the sum of the first two. Right? So the next number is the sum of the previous two numbers. So 3 is the sum of 1 and 2. 5 is the sum of 2 and 3. 8 is the sum of 3 and 5 and so on. This is the index from 0 to 9 and this is the value storing in each index. 1 is stored in 0, the first number in the sequence and the second number is also 1 because Fibonacci sequence starts with 2 ones and, and 0 and 1 and then index 2 we have 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2 index 3 we have 3, 1 plus 2 is 3 index 4 we have 5, 2 plus 3 is 5 index 5 we have 8 3 plus 5 is 8, in the 6 we have 13, 5 plus 8 is 13 and so on. So in this video I'm going to show you guys um, a list that holds a Fibonacci sequence with the starting value 1 1 and then a for loop to iterate and then add the next numbers of the sequence in the list and then print that list out. Alright then so let's get started. So if I have a list say excess and I have two numbers stored in it one and one these are the first two numbers to start with and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a for loop and then add the next numbers in the sequence of the Fibonacci um, inside this list excess okay so I'll write a for loop for i in range 1 to 10 because we want to print 10 numbers 0 to 9 um, so this is the algorithm to to get the uh, Fibonacci sequence numbers so we say variable k equals excess of i plus excess of i minus 1 and I'm gonna go over this what this code is doing when I run visual, visual execution so you guys can you guys will be able to see what's going on um, and then I will append that value in my list access and that will be k alright and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and then print the list access cool so now let me hit execution and then it will walk over whatever code I've written over here so the first line is 11 let me extend this thing so cursor is at 11 so it's gonna we, we are declaring a list access and it points to a list access points to a list with values 1 and 1 1 is at index 0 this one is at index 1 and then we run a for loop from 1 this index till 10 why did we use this one and not 0 because we want to add this number in the number in index 1 with the number in index 0 to get the second index 2 number which would be 2 so this is uh, this is exactly what this line is doing um, over here when it's pointing to k i is 1 so excess of i that is 1 is 1 so that is over here is 1 plus excess of i which is 1 minus 1 that is 0 so excess of 0 which is this one so over here we already had 1 plus this one 1 we have 2 so k is right now 2 see k is 2 right now and then at, on line 15 we're gonna append this k in our list excess and this 2 will show up here all right, so 2 is at index 2. We're going to go back to the for loop and then i now will now be 2. That is i is over here. And then excess of 2. i is 2. Excess of 2 is this one, 2 over here. 
So 2 plus excess of i that is 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, excess of 1. Excess of 1 is this one. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So k would be 3 now. And then we're going to append this k in our list excess. So we'll have index 3 as 3. And then the loop, uh, the cursor go back to the for loop, and then i will now be 3, which is this one. Now k is equal to excess of i, that is 3. So excess of 3 is 3, plus excess of i, that is 3, minus 1 is 2, excess of 2. Excess of 2 is this one, this index. Excess of 2 is the value 2. So 2 plus excess of i is 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So k is now 5. And then we're going to append k to the list excess. Alright, so far we have exactly like this we are getting over here. And then it's going to go back to the loop. I will be 4 and then 4. Excess of 4 is 5. 5 plus excess of, um, excess of 4. So excess of 3. That is uh, excess of 3 is 3. Excess of 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So k would be 8. And then it's going to append um, k to the list. Alright, and then it goes back again. I would be 5. So excess of 5 is 8. And then excess plus excess of 5 minus 1, that is 4. Excess of 4 is 5. So 8 plus 5 is 13. So k would be 13. It's going to append. And then go back, and then i will be 6. And then excess of 6 is 13. Plus excess of 6 minus 1, excess of 5, that is 8. So 13 plus 8 is 21. Right, and we're going to append 21. And then we're going to go back. Now i is 7, excess of 7 is 21, plus excess of 7 minus 1, 6, so 6 is 13 plus 21 is 34, then append k, 34, and then go back, get the, the last one, excess of 8 is 34, plus excess of 8 minus 1, 7, that is 21 plus 34, will, should give me 55, k is 55, now append this k in the list. 55 all right and i is 8 then i goes to 9 um, and then k would be 89 and then uh, we exit the loop because we are counting till 10 not including 10 so 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 we have right now 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 numbers since we count from 0, um, we don't count 11 because we are counting 0. So this is the sequence of the Fibonacci uh, sequence. So we And then we print the list. This is the list of Fibonacci sequence of um, um, 11 numbers if we don't count 0. Um, all right, so it's a, it's a really cool sequence. I'm pretty sure you guys will have to code this one probably recursively or using a for loop, whichever method you guys choose. But I'm probably in my later videos, I'm probably gonna show you guys how to do it in recursive because I'm planning to do a Java tutorial. So probably in there, you guys will find a recursive one. All right, cool. I hope this one um, helps and it's been helpful to you guys. And I am um, I'm hoping you guys like my videos. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for later videos. Until then, take care. Bye.